I want to take a moment to review partial products using ar arrays. The way we're going to do that, let's just do an example of 34 times 25. Okay, the first step, um, since we're using an array, we're going to go ahead and draw an array or a box. Okay? And second step, what I want to do is I want to break 34 and 25 into, into numbers that are easy for me to work with. And every person is going to be a little bit different. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to break the tens and the ones apart. So for instance, for 34, I'm going to break it into 30 plus 4. And for 25, I'm going to break that into 20 plus 5. Now you could do this different ways. My 30, I could break into three groups of 10. My 20, I could break into two groups of 10. My 4, I could break into two and two. Whatever helps you be successful. Now this next step is kind of important. Whenever you see an addition symbol, okay, so whenever you see an addition sign, I want you to break your box into a separate part, or I want you to draw a line. So for instance, I see an addition symbol, I'm going to cut my box in half. I see another addition symbol. I'm going to cut it over here. That tells you how many lines to draw. One of the most common mistakes that I see when we're using an array is that you draw your own lines for no reason. So what we're going to do is anytime you see an addition symbol in your number sentence, we're going to draw a line. Mistress, can you call the front? So then what we do is we multiply our products. What we're going to do is we're going to look at numbers that cross each other. Uh, for instance, in this first box where it has a 20 and a 30, I'm actually going to do 20 times 30. So 2 times 3 is 6. I see two zeros. I get 600. Then I'm going to come across and I see that 20 and 4 cross each other. So 20 times 4 is going to be 80. Then I'm going to go down. I have a 5. I'm going to see that the 5 and 30 overlap. So 5 times 30 is going to be 150. And then my last box is going to be 5 times 4, which equals 20. Okay, so I've got all these products or partial products. It's part of the original problem. Remember, our original problem is up here, 34 times 25. So all these boxes are partial products. They're part of the problem that we're trying to figure out. So what we want to do next, or for the final step, is we're going to take those partial products and we're going to add them up. So I'm going to pull out that 600, the 150, the 80, and the 20. Ideally, what you want to get to is you can do this in your head. Once you get these partial products, it should be relatively easy to add them up. But if you need to write out the number sentence out to the right, that's fine. So I'm going to add up all my ones place, my tens place, and then my hundreds place. And there's multiple ways to do addition. This is just the traditional algorithm of doing that. So our final answer is going to be 850. So 334 times 25 should add up and be 850. All right. Thanks for watching.